Hello again. I'm here at the back at the fish ladder to check it out. It's Saturday afternoon at about two o'clock. Uh, they've closed the gates to the park, supposedly to, I don't know, keep people out, I guess. So I'm parked up here on the street, which, by the way, that's where we got some people living in old derelict campers and motorhomes. So yeah, Grand Rapids has got the same problem as a lot of places. But I'm going to go down there and check out the fish ladder. Like I said, Saturday about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it should be at its crest. And we'll see how much difference there was from yesterday. Well, here we are. It's a little bit, I'd call it a little bit higher. There's a, there's the railing that's almost covered. Um, see there's another blue barrel down there. Caught in the current, whatever you call it that current there's that log that's still rolling around it's kind of in the middle now and a lot of people down here keep the fishing etc bit up from yesterday and actually you know if you're not if you're not from around here it's really is not all that uncommon I think it's probably maybe slightly higher than an average spring but I've seen it higher so it's yeah, it's pretty much an every spring thing it was worse yeah I think the worst was like 10 years ago or so and I remember coming here at that time and you really couldn't see any drop at all. It was kind of it looked more like a rapid than any significant than any one drop. So yeah, it's a pretty common thing. That's the Sixth Street Bridge, by the way, up there. It's a pretty cool thing. Maybe I'll take a walk up there. All right, I'm heading from for the Sixth Street Bridge from the fish ladder. There's a little walkway goes right along the river here and, and about halfway there fish ladder is just on the other side of those trees there's these buildings here some of them have no trespassing signs on part of it, but I think if you stay on the walking path, you're fine. Nobody's going to bother you. Oh, here comes another plastic barrel. We'll see. Now I'm going to have to go back to the fish ladder uh, to see if that got caught. So, yeah, look at that. Another plastic barrel. I wonder how far upstream that came from. You know, it's another funny thing that it's kind of you have to think about it for a while because the Grand River starts down by Jackson, ends up in Grand Haven. So the Grand River travels in generally a northwestern direction, heading from Jackson to Grand Haven but because it winds around so much it's like for example this what I'm looking at now that's south so the Grand River is running from the north to the south through downtown Grand Rapids even though in general the Grand River runs from the southeast to the northwest so you kind of say, where did that barrel come from? And you think, oh, it's coming from the north. And it's like, no, actually it's coming from 
the southeast. It just happens to be going south at this time. We'll check it out later. Oh, hey, look at this. A Coca-Cola cooler coming down. Going right under the, right under the Sixth Street Bridge. <laughs> Imagine that. What's the story behind that? taking video of the coke cooler too we'll, we'll go back to the fish ladder at the end and see if the coke cooler got caught up or if it or if it made it through the the dam and i don't know i do kind of, we kind of like to watch it go over but i don't know i would have to run quite a bit in order to get to the fish ladder before that cooler does and i'm not gonna do it And this bridge is open to traffic, it's pretty narrow. Feels funny when you're driving by, when you're driving through and a car comes the other way. There's no trucks, of course. And I can remember it being a wood deck and now they've put a layer of concrete on it. So it must be fairly sturdy. Yeah, it's pretty cool, all riveted together. I think there's a sign on the other end that I'll go to. our coke cooler on its way down there I don't know if you can see that it's almost ready to go yeah it's got a ways to go it's almost ready to go over so we got people putting padlocks on here I guess that's a I think that started in Paris right Harriet and Leo I wonder if they're still together I'm sure they are locks still on they must still be together I guess this is how, well, there's a combination lock. See, you're supposed to, you're supposed to put the key, put the lock on Ace Hardware. You're supposed to put the lock on with your beloved, your girlfriend, and then throw the key in the water. Look at that. You can get a special heart-shaped padlock just for attaching to the bridge Jerry and Greg 2023 huh. cute one's like a dog or a lion somebody went all out There's the sign for the Sixth Street Bridge. Da, 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 1921, $31,000. Oh wait, they built it in 1886. Da, 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 1921, the Western Trust were shorted when the West, shortened when the West Bank Canal was filled in. In 75, the bridge was slated for demolition. Longest, oldest remaining metal bridge in Michigan listed in the National Historic Places, 1976. It is cool. So yeah, 1886. All right, I'm about to leave the bridge and go down, but I just happened to notice you look up there and see it's not just utilitarian. They put some fancy designs of stuff in there. And yeah, pretty cool. I'm back. Interesting. So the Coke cooler or the new white plastic barrel did not get caught. But the cooler, there's a cooler, there's a life jacket, there's a blue barrel. There's the same, I think that's the same log from the other day, but it's just kind of not spinning anymore. And well, there is a barrel. Yeah, maybe it isn't. It's not a barrel, that's a log. Even. You know, it's kind of funny. We 
keep the gates closed to keep people from coming in here. But it certainly doesn't stop anybody. I guess they say they did their part in case anybody calls in. They say, well, hey, we shut the gate. You can just walk in, you can park on the street. There's me parked up there. And let me just go over here, get some good pictures of the pictures of the sign. Put this why does this sign have to be here? You got the sign in the worst spot. It's right in the flowers. We don't need that sign there. Oh that's better that way anyways. Alright, we'll see you later.